Um, that always say my brother pulled me he did not touch my hand he did not pull me to run we were running together and he might encourage me while we were running <laughs> Welcome back to my channel my name is Natoya Ghoul and today is a very windy and uh, a little chilly so that's why I'm wearing this jacket because I'm outside as you can tell and today for my vlog I want to share with you guys about when I now started doing track and field so I'm not gonna go all the way back but I will start from probably when I was about eight years old i was in grade three so i think i was probably eight years old and if you come from jamaica you know that whenever i come to like february or march you know that you have sports day at your school at the primary high school even college you know and i remember when i was going to belfry primary school for those that don't know belfry primary school that's in Manchester and it's located in Belfield and um, that's when you're on your way to Mandeville you reach the Williamsville runabout and you take the right and you go all the way up until you reach Belfield so that's where I went to primary school I am from Coffee Grove and most of you know if you come from Coffee Grove it's either you go Belfield Primary School or you go Pearls Primary School or you go to Garlogi Primary School these are all located in Manchester and they are near to my community which is Coffee Grove and so you know you born as this little girl years well I at that time I didn't know about track and field I like in depth as oh it is right now with me i just know that i could run my mom and my sisters they always tell me that okay every time they send me to the shop the only reason they believe that i went to the shop was because i came back with the item which i always laugh at this because i think it's funny because i really do always love to run all the time everywhere i go it's like i can't stop i'm just running 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 and fast forward into when I was um, in primary school, what they do is they will start off the grade three um, students, then grade four, then grade five, then, then grade six. So I was in grade three at the time and I was chosen to run from my house. And also in Jamaica, you have houses at your school. So, at my primary school it was Bogo Garvey Shop and Bogo Garvey Shop was named after our our national heroes because we have six national heroes and one national heroine. So our houses were named after Bogo Garvey and Shop and I was in Bogo, which was a greenhouse. I love greenhouse. Even though we not always win all the time. I don't even think we won <laughs> when I was at primary school, but yeah, I love greenhouse, Bogo way to go bogle all the bogle people at belfry primary school shout out to y'all and you know they send us off as grade three um runners and i found myself in the front running and i was running 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 and after you know i don't remember when it was my brother told me that when he because he was in grade i think he was in grade five no he was in grade six at the time yes yeah he was in grade six at the time so he was one of the last ones to be um sent off to run and then he told me that he saw somebody up front and said why did that look like his sister and he sped up and came up there and realized yes it was me so we're there running together and 
for all the people them that always say my brother pulled me he did not touch my hand he did not pull me to run we were running together and he might encourage me while we run say come on sis continue to run continue to run he did not fyi for your information he did not pull me okay he did not drag me none of that so and it ended up that he won the race and i was second overall so i was first as girl and second overall because you know when i was in grade four you know i was you know they set off i didn't i don't know what happened but i don't think i like i was i don't know but i didn't do well when i was in grade four so of course they're gonna say oh because in brother giant and brother not here this year so that's why she should not win and this and that but guess what people it's a grade five and grade six guess who win i won overall as girl not overall overall but the first girl to go by and i'm telling you this course that we run we run to daviton for people from belfield and bombay and daviton and you know all those wilderstown all those places they will know what i'm talking about that hill is nothing to play with i'm telling you it's nothing to play with all right and um the guy that won he came from my community overall so he won and i was first as girl for grade five and grade six because we both were in the same grade and i won my 800 my 1500 and i won the 400 i think one year i was second in the 400 the grade six i was second in the 400 but i've never gotten beaten in the five in grade in the 1500 and the 800 and because of that, you know, I did not understand nothing about spikes. Those times we, we were running shoes on the road, but when we go on the track, we, we did not wear spikes. It was all bare feet. And I was recruited to go to Manchester High School and I went to Manchester High School. But before I went to Manchester High School, I ran for, um, at that time it was Blue Cross. It's, it was Blue Cross sponsored the parish meet. Yeah, it was Blue Cross parish meet. And I represented Manchester in the 1500 because, yeah, some girls, <laughs> which one of them became my teammate at Manchester High School, they were number one and number two at the DA Sports because we have this um, sporting meet where you go DA Sports where you have to qualify to represent your parish at the Blue Cross Paris Championships and I won the 1500 and so I went to the championship which kept in GC Foster College and they gave me spikes for the first time to put on come on you're gonna give a girl that grew up in, in the in, a, in the country that does not know anything about spikes you're gonna give her the time when she's about to run to put on spikes to run fail 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 <laughs> guess what i did i take all the spikes because i was not comfortable i'm not used to no spikes i was not comfortable at all so i take off the spikes and i run that 1500 on the chevron at gc foster college i went without no shoes and i won the 1500 meters like until this day i don't know how that happened <laughs> But I won the 1500 without no shoes and it did not hurt. I don't know how that did not hurt. Imagine me in grade six. You seeing me right now. I'm so small. Imagine me in grade six. I think I was 12 because the championship was in me. So I think I had already turned 12. I don't remember. But my birthday come early because of the month that I'm, I was born, March. My month, this month, yeah, my birthday coming up soon. And imagine me as a little 12 year old girl. I run at GC Foster College with the, by the way, it was not only 12 year olds I was running with. I was running with junior high, which was like 14, 15, 16 year olds. And I beat them. Yes. Ghoul did that. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself for doing that. Go Ghoulie, go Ghoulie, go Ghoulie at 12. 
Yay. Go me. <laughs> Go stop. Okay, back. So, yes and that's like oh well it was at a meet in Kirtvan where i got recruited to go to manchester high school my father said yes you're going to manchester high school other school wanted me but my father said no you're not going there you're going to manchester high school and so because of that i end up at manchester high school and i ran at the boys and girls championships when i was in class three because my first year i could not compete in the in the 800 or the 1500 because i was too young and so I did the long jump for the first time. I cannot believe that I did long jump. But I did not do well. I did not make it to the finals, anything like that. But I I did long jump at Champs. That was my first event at Champs. And I really, really wanted to go to Champs. So I would do anything to go to Champs. And the way how I realized that I can do the long jump was because of our sports day at Manchester High School. As I said, sports day in Jamaica is very important to us. And I won the long jump. I, I fall two jumps and I use one jump to win. At that time, I even, uh, I jump in my, my 800 spikes. I even left a mark on my, on my, on my knee because when, while I was jumping, I scratch my foot and yeah you can still see that mark you think that i got surgery but it's not from it's not surgery <laughs> it's because of the spikes and the, you know it heal and i pick it up i don't know why as children mm. as a child we love to do that but uh, that's just bad and so i end up going to the boys and girls championships and i was really happy i stood in the stands and watch all those great athletes that you see running now competing in the 100 the 200 the 400 the 800 the 15 all those good events i was in the stands watching them because your girl could not run until the next year and i competed for manchester high school from 2004 to 2010 yeah and during that time, I represented Jamaica at the junior level at the Character Games from 2005, which was my first year. It was also the year that my dad died. So that winning that medal felt so good because he was able to see me. Well, he didn't really see me, but he heard on the radio his daughter competing and based on what I heard that he was crying because my dad if anybody know my dad he always you know come to my trap meets he always always come to my trap meets he he never missed one once it was nearby you will see him with his little umbrella and I think you ride his bicycle and then take taxi or something <laughs> but my dad <laughs> he was my hero he always wanted me to do well and I wish he was here now so that he could see that his little daughter has grown up and is doing well for herself and is trying to make sure that, you know, she's making him proud and the rest of my family. So, just in peace, Dad, I love you. And, you know, that's how I started track and field and that's where I am now. You know, I just wanted to give you a little insight of how it began. And... Yeah, even before, you know, I became who I am, even winning at primary school and doing what I do, I started this man in our community. He would bring us down to Kirkvine to play netball and run around the track and stuff like that. And then while on our way back, he would like let us out and we run and he drive behind us. So for all those all the persons that played a part in my life growing up with my track career i thank you even if i don't say it i appreciate you all i thank you and i am forever grateful today that was my story and how i started track and feel and i'll catch you on another video bye for now hi guys so if you enjoyed that last video give it a thumbs up and like share comment and subscribe to my channel once again i am natoya ghoul and she's out for now see you again next time